billion neurons in your brain. A hundred billion neurons. The number of connections you have in one neuron is between 10,000 and 40,000 connections. If you took a hundred billion sheets of paper and you stacked them on top of each other, it would be 5,000 miles high. That's the distance from Los Angeles to London. If you took a scoop of gray matter the size of a grain of sand, you would have 100,000 neurons in it with over a billion connections. Now, I'll stop right after this slide. Learning is making new synaptic connections. Every time you learn something new, this is what's happening in your brain, geniuses. If you learned one bit of information today, your brain did this. Boom. That's learning. Physical evidence as a result of your interaction in the environment. Every time you learn something in your brain, there's a physical change that takes place. And learning is making new connections. Are you with me? This is how fast it happens, too. That's learning. If you learn anything this week, you've made a footprint. If learning is making new synaptic connections, <clears throat> then if you keep firing the same thoughts over and over again, you're going to wire them in your brain. So then if learning is making new synaptic connections, then remembering is maintaining them. And all of a sudden, they develop a long-term relationship. And just like any relationship, the more you communicate, the more they connect. And neurons are exactly the same way. Now, as you begin to learn information, neurons tend to assemble themselves into networks, or what's called neural networks. And neural networks are just gangs of neurons that have fired and wired together to form a community of neurosynaptic connections that's related to a thought, a skill, a habit, a behavior, a concept. <clears throat> and neural networks are automatic programs. You have a neural network to brush your teeth, to put on makeup, to speak a language, to walk. All of a sudden, those neurons then form a hardware circuitry. But if you keep repeating it, the hardware becomes a software program, and it becomes automatic. So then, you want to see a thought? Watch. Boom, there's a thought. Right there. Watch again. Boom. That's a thought. You generate more electrical impulses in your brain in one day than all the cell phones on the planet put together. And it's not coming from the candy bar you just ate. You are connected to a greater field. So then, in closing, and I'll take some questions, you are here this week to begin to understand knowledge and information that is essential for you to begin to apply. Knowledge is power, but knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment. And we are in a time in the world where we need leaders. And true leadership has to do with a vision of the future. As the old models begin to break down in government, in the economy, in religion, in education, in the environment, in medicine, something new has to be created. And we should never shrink from these models collapsing. It's a sign that something greater has to happen. Innovation, creation, invention is our future. And that are you willing to every day revisit that vision and get clear on your purpose and begin to take steps towards that destiny and give up the emotions of the past that keep you enslaved to the same person. Step into that unknown and literally believe in possibility. And Buckminster Fuller said it the best. He said, if you want to change a culture, forget about trying to fix what's broken. Create something that's better. 
and everybody will leave that and go to something else. And so people around the world are waking up because we are in an age of information. And in an age of information, ignorance is a choice. Learn, study, change, apply, and meet the challenges in your life with a greater level of mind. Surely somebody has faced the same things that you have and have overcome them. And if learning is making those connections, every time you learn, you are preparing your brain for the future. But be willing to be original. Be willing to be defined by that vision or that dream. And if every day you keep it alive, sooner or later, that experience or that vision is going to find you. And that's when we go from being selfish to being selfless. And that's when we give people permission in our lives to follow us because we are no longer talking about it. We're living it. Thanks for listening.